Hey everybody, this is Scott from uh, InternetSafetyCenter.com here. Uh, today what we're going to do is look at the new Norton Internet Security Suite 2010. So we'll first head on out to Semantic's website here. and You'll find under for Home and it's the new Internet Security Suite 2010. It comes out by what it does is here it gives you a nice chart of what all um, the Internet Security Suite has inside of like networking, advanced protection, core protection, uh, you know, viruses, spyware, Trojan worms, bots, and root kits. And it's just got a nice little list here. You can also go to the how it works, and it's got a bunch of information here. So you can go ahead and read all everything you want to know about it right there. Uh, they do offer a free trial. Uh, you can go to Downloads Internet Security Suite 2010. So then we'll hit sign up for my no risk trial. But again, this is the part we don't like. They do require you to put our credit card information in. So we are going to ignore that. And head on over to CNET.com. And then we're going to go to downloads. And type in Norton. And you will see Norton Internet Security Suite 2010 there. We're going to hit download and all you gotta do is put your first name, last name, and email address and then it'll send you a link and then you can go ahead and download the program and so you don't have to put your credit card information in. So we've already went, went ahead and done that so let's bring up the installer here and here it is. Um, we have to say we, we really like the interface here. We do like the colors and everything. Again it comes up here immediately with the uh, Thanks for choosing Norton. You can the user license agreement. You can click on this, and here it is. Um, so, oh, and then also we have the I want to I want to join and fight against digital cybercrime and let my PC automatically select the security information as semantic, which is recommended. And you can read their privacy policy too. Um, I'm not going to get into that right now, but again, this is just like uh, Caspersy and uh, F Secure. We've already looked at here. Same thing, you know. They are sending little bits of packet, little packets of information back to them to improve their product. So we're going to go ahead and leave it checked, and we're going to hit agree and install here. Um, again, like I said, we like this interface. It's it's different. It's a, it's unique. It's kind of cool. So we do like this uh, opening interface here. So. All right. It says we got less than a minute remaining to complete the install here. And while it's installing, it's always a good thing to remind everybody that you know if you have not gone out to Microsoft's website and went to Windows Update recently, you need to go out there as soon as possible. You know, it's something you should be checking every week. So remember, just head on to Microsoft and you'll see Windows Update on the right hand side. So, all right, now we're installing drivers. Starting services. We've already, you can see the icon up here already for it. It is a 80.6 meg download. You can see that right here. So. Alright. Trying to launch the product. So we've got less than 10 seconds remaining. The one thing we can say is probably this is the quickest installation of an antivirus program we've come up with so far. I mean, it, it, it really is fast, so. All right, connecting to Norton here. This is gonna where it's gonna ask us to create an account here in just a second. Gonna say not oh, there it goes again. Uh, this is a virtual machine we're running this on, so sometimes it actually kind of runs a little bit slow. Uh, we do have uh, 512 megs of RAM and a dual core processor, so I'm gonna go ahead and close that out for now. So we got the installation is complete here. 
Uh, better performance sonar, we'll go over that, and better weapon protection with insight. So, so we're gonna go ahead and get started here. Well, here's the interface. Um, much like F Secure, this is one of our uh, favorite interfaces here. We do like it's got a lot more stuff on it than the F Secure one it does, but it actually it is fairly clean, and that's what we like. So we're gonna go to here first. We're gonna run the run the live update and see what that looks like. So you're gonna see it's actually checking for updates. It says we haven't downloaded anything for 44 days, so we can see how long. But the other thing that's really kind of cool we do like is, and actually over here, if you look over here, you can actually see your, the CPU usage of the computer and how much Norton is actually using of that CPU. So as it's checking for updates, you know, it's using about 80% of it. So it looks like we got 10 meg, 10.52 megabytes to download here. Now we're doing the installation. As you can see, the CPUs are kind of going all over the place. And we're installing 10 of 10 in here. Alright, again, again, if you want to watch, you can kind of see... Uh, see how the uh, CPU is working and how hard your computer is working. You can tell it's working pretty hard right now. Obviously in live update it now tells us you know we ran it. It worked about 20 seconds ago so so apparently yeah so it looks like you know when it does actually start installing these updates it is going to slow your computer down but generally you know this ain't going to last maybe a minute or maybe two minutes generally on the most so it looks, looks like it checked again so because it's reset up here all right, we're just going to minimize that for right now. One, the first thing we're going to look at actually is this little performance guy. Oh, it says we're complete now. And here's here's the kind of I like this performance monitoring we have here. Um, as you can see, what what you can do is it actually charts the CPU usage. The yellow is the Norton, and the blue is everything else. It's, or basically, how fast, your, how hard your CPU is being used. We're gonna okay to close that out. You can also chart the memory, and that's what is kind of key for us. Is we want to know how much memory each of these antivirus systems are using. You want you want it to use as, as little as possible, so it's freed up for other programs and stuff like that. And you can see it's just kind of going along here, and you know you can see up here where the peaks were, where it was installing everything. But um, you know, as as that kind of dropped off and the updates were installed, it's it's gone down considerably. So, kind of a neat little feature here that they did build into it. All right, now we're gonna go to the application ratings, and this is the uh, Norton Insight here. And so, what it's gonna do is it's gonna scan basically all the applications we have on the computer, and it's gonna look for um, what would be considered trusted applications. These are known good applications either being from Microsoft or a database and stuff like that they've collected here. Uh, the best part about this is once you know they are trusted Norton isn't going to scan these as they're coming in and out of your computer because it knows they're actually valid good applications. So it's actually just going to leave them alone which is good because it's going to now increase the performance of your computer and, and increase the performance of the security suite. So this actually takes a little bit of time to run, so we're just going to minimize that for now. Alright, so what we're going to do here is go up to the computer, and we're going to click on the settings here. Alright, here's basically all the settings we have here. Uh, computer scans, obviously compressed files, data, limit is on. Uh, remove infected compressed files is turned off. Um, again, just a couple of the other internet security suites have the same thing. We're going to turn that on, actually. Um, you know what? I hate to say it, but um, oops. But you know what? If it detects a file that's corrupted uh, and it's compressed, I just want the file gone. You know, why even take the risk of it not being able to remove the malware or the virus from it? Just tell it to get rid of the program or get rid of the uh, the file completely. Just just get rid of it. So, so that's what we want. Uh, the Insight Network is on. Good. Uh, scan performance profile, standard trust is okay. And you see down here, anti-spyware, obviously turned on, auto-protect, turned on here. Um, 
let's see sonar advanced mode automatic you want to leave that really on automatic for now remove advanced detection automatically uh, that's kind of a hit or miss for us it's kind of depending on how you want to set up uh, set it, or configure the settings you can actually do that or not it's really up to you we're gonna leave it default right now so and we're gonna move scroll down a little bit here and make sure the uh, automatic live update is on and pulse updates are also on